What is up, fellow nerds, and welcome back to the Dapper Snapper Gaming Channel. Now, today, we're bringing you another episode of Competitive Decks, talking about some Pokemon that are pretty useful in competitive singles and how to use them. So, if you are excited to learn how to use Darmanitan, then make sure to leave a like down below and a comment letting me know what else you would like to learn how to use in another episode. So... Darmanitan, it's very strong. It has been doing really well since Pokemon Home dropped. However, it has dropped now to UU, which is kind of weird. Uh, I did not expect this thing to drop down to UU, and I really don't expect it to stay there because it's really strong, especially with Torkoal having dropped with it. Um, we discussed all of these tier changes in our State of the Meta address. If you missed that, that'll be up in the iCard above, but yeah, Dormanitan is a very strong mod with a base 140 attack. I mean, think about it. Melmetal has base 143. I mean, they're very similar in, in attack stats. So this thing hits like a truck. So stab with flare blitz plus fire being a really good offensive typing. Plus now it has a partner with Torkoal in the sun to boost it. It's it's ridiculous. It's crazy. Plus he's fast at base 95. As, as we've said, 95 is actually pretty quick in, in this generation. Um... As more things get added, it will become slower. But for right now, 95 is still a good speed tier. So Darmanitan is really, really strong. So let's go ahead and talk about some potential sets for Darmanitan. And my favorite set is going to be the Scarfed variant. Um, Scarfed Darmanitan is very nice because that 95 with a Scarf is going to let you outspeed a lot of really nice non-Scarfed threats. And so you're going to pick up a lot of crucial KOs and be faster than a lot of things that you wouldn't be faster than normally. It's, it's great. Now, a lot of people on the Scarf set will actually run Trick over Stone Edge or U-Turn. And so I just wanted to make sure that you know that that option is there. You also have Super Power if you would rather have that coverage. Um, those are both really nice options for you. But this is a pretty straightforward set. You can, of course, also switch this out for a Choice Band. Um, that is definitely a thing that you can do as well. So the next set we're going to look at is going to be a Heavy Duty Boots bulk up set. Now, I did use this set on a Wi-Fi battle the other day, but spoiler alert, it didn't do anything. So, uh, I think this set has a lot of potential. I just haven't found it just yet, but I think that it's got potential. And I think if you get it set up in the right situation, I mean, giving yourself plus one, I mean, that's basically the choice band right there that you would normally have, except now you have the ability to switch moves. Um, and now you're at plus one defense. So you're gonna be taking hits a little bit better. Um, I mean, at base 55 defense, I mean, you're not going to be taking hits super well, but you can take a couple hits, may maybe. That's not what bulk up's there for. Bulk up's there just for the attack boost. Um, in and also, you could run power up punch in instead of bulk up. That gives you damage instead of the defense boost, but it's up to you. It's whatever you want to do. You're just looking for that attack boost, and the heavy duty boots, of course, allows you to switch in on rocks or spikes and not take any unnecessary damage, because if you're doing recoil with flare blitz, you're going to want to be able to heal yourself back up. All right, so now we're going to look at sub bulk up. I don't think this is that bad because Darmanitan forces switches a lot. And that's why U-Turn is so good on Darmanitan is because this thing comes in and it forces a switch. A lot of times people assume that it is going to end up being scarfed or banded or something like that and start hitting really hard. But if you just go for a substitute first turn, you get a free bulk up pretty much. Um, you, your opponent may have brought in something that maybe doesn't deal with it as well as they thought. Um, and then you've got Flare Blitz and Earthquake. We've got leftovers to help you with your uh, recoil. But of course, you could also run uh, Heavy Duty Boots if you wanted to. But I figured Leftovers is better because you're dealing with Substitute and Flare Blitz recoil. And you're just going to end up killing yourself really, really quickly. So this is, this is way, way better. All right. So for the final option, of course, our meme. You guys remember Zenmo Darmanitan? It's, it's a thing. I mean, it's, it's a thing that exists. It's here. It's not great, but it's here. So we actually have a Heavy Duty Boots galer uh, regular Darmanitan with Zen Mode. So what Zen Mode does is it swaps your stats around. So if you see here, you've got 140 in your attack. This puts 140 in your special attack and then massively boosts your defenses. Is it enough to boost your defenses to where it really matters? Um, not really, because... 
you have to be below half health in order for this form to even activate. So by the time you're at below half health, it doesn't matter. So that's why we're not running leftovers on this because if you run leftovers, then you're gonna end up getting above half health and lose your uh, lose your stats. So yeah, you, you wanna try to get it to where it'll stay below half and just sit right there and substitute is a great way to do that. If you sub twice, you can get below that half and then you can go ahead and activate your Zen mode. Now, obviously, Zen Mode Darmanitan works best in Trick Room because it is so slow at base 55. Um, if you're concerned about being uh, outsped by other things in Trick Room being slower than you, you could also run Room Service. Room Service is the item that lowers your speed when Trick Room is activated, and that's a thing you could do. That also helps you while you are in regular form. Um, you switch in in regular form, you substitute down, um, and if it's, you've already subbed once, you're now at 75, you swap back in and you sub again in Trick Room, and then that activates your uh, that activates your room service, and now you're gonna be slow even as regular Darmanitan. It's pretty cool, it's, it's pretty nice, it, it's a set that could work. But we've got Sub, Fire Blast, Psychic, because this thing becomes a Psychic type, and Focus Blast. You could also run uh, you could also run body press here if you wanted to. That would be a uh, definitely an option you can consider with a lot more reliable accuracy. Um, and plus, now you have a base 105 defense. So you would throw the four up here. And I mean, 247 is not a bad attacking stat really, especially at 105 base. I mean, and even uninvested, it's gonna be doing quite a bit. Focus Blast is gonna be doing more, but body press is going to be is going to allow you to hit as a physical attacker on the special side. So definitely something, can, something to consider. You can definitely try out both. So yeah, that is gonna be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. So make sure to leave a comment down below letting me know what you would like to see in our next episode of Competitive Decks and make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe if you are new. I hope you had a great Easter weekend, a great bunny day if you're playing Animal Crossing, and uh, I will see you guys tomorrow for some more Mystery Dungeons. So until then, bye-bye!